I am making an updated Valkyrie deck profile for the new cards released from Dark Neostorm. And I do not have any Pot of Extravagance, otherwise I'd play three of it. And I will let you know what I would take out for that. Other than that, I have been testing this deck without an extra deck against my Earthbound Monarch deck. That profile will be coming up very soon. And it just seems a lot of fun with that matchup. But two decks that don't even need an extra deck that roll high on the cards from their main deck. So first of all, I play three Valkyrie Sech Day. This card is useful because if it's special summoned, then you can special on one Valkyrie monster from your deck except for itself. And then... But, and then, once per turn, you can send the top two cards of your opponents back to the graveyard. But you can only do that effect during the main phase. And then I play two, Valkyrie Fumfte. Valkyrie Fumfte increases the attack of each of your Valkyrie monsters by 200 for each of your opponent's banished cards. Which works really well, Valkyrie Erida. And then, it's also a Foolish Burial for the deck. Or Foolish Burial Goods. Not, it's not that good, unfortunately. But its effect really is just used to send Rise of the Valkyries to the grave if you don't need it, and to then search for a mischief. And then I take two, play two Valkyrie Chariot. I would take both of these out and the Pegasus Wing spell for uh, the Pot of Extravagances. Essentially, it's just a smaller version of the Fortune Chariot that increases your opponent, that increases the attacking monster's attack by 500. Other than that, it's exactly like Fortune Chariot, except normal summonable. And I play 3 Valkyrie Verite. Verite's ability lets you execute the top cards, or execute cards from the top of your deck for every other Valkyrie monster you control beside itself. Then you add one of the normal spell traps from those cards to your hand and send the rest to the grave. And if there aren't any normal spells or traps, you just send the rest to the... You just put shuffle them back to the deck. And then should it die and die by battle, then you can summon one Valkyrie monster from your deck. So normally, I'd have this attack and just something to die. Summon Stetch Day from the deck. Then Stetch Day summons Valkyrie Erda or Brunhilda. Then I play three of the original Valkyrie Drita. When it's normal summon, you add one Valkyrie monster from your deck to your hand besides itself. And then against 200 attack for each of your opponent's, opponent's banished monsters. Three Valkyries Vi. Whenever it is summoned, it destroys one monster your opponent controls by targeting it. And if it destroys a monster in battle, or, and then if it battles, at the end of the damage step, which means it does have to survive, you can add one continuous spell in your graveyard to your hand. Each effect is once per turn. I've thought about reducing Zvi to two and playing three Valkyrie Ersta. Valkyrie Ersta's effect is if it's done by a spell card, you can add one Mish of the Time Goddess from your graveyard to your hand. It can banish one monster from its graveyard, and its attack is equal to that monster's original attack. And then you can, uh, yeah, the I play three Valkyrie Brunhilda. Valkyrie Brunhilda's ability is against five hundred attack for each of your opponents. Monsters they control, and it's unaffected by opponent's spell cards, which is I found be really useful because one of my friends really loves to use Creature Swap. <sighs> my pain. But then if your if an attack is if when your opponent's monster requires an attack, you can have it lose one thousand defense points to make all your Valkyrie monsters unable to be destroyed in battle for that turn. And to finish off the monsters, I play three. Valkyrie Erda. I really like this card because of how it's the Valkyrie version of Dark Law. How when your every opponent's card to be destroyed, it's banished instead. And if it was done by the effect of a Valkyrie card, all your opponent's monsters lose one thousand attack points. 
And that is it for the monsters. Moving on to the spells. I do not play any traps in this deck. But for the spells I play, one one for one. You use this card to summon Valkyrie Zva or Sech Day from the deck. And I play one reasoning. I play this card because the Valkyries use monsters from levels 1 through 8. So the odds of your opponent calling the right level is really low, but still happens. And then one Pegasus Wing. With this card, you can make any of your Valkyries be able to attack directly. And all you have to do for it is to have a Union monster in your graveyard. And I play one card destruction. This card has only hurt me once, and that was because I didn't realize it, but I was facing a Burning Abyss player. Actually, now that I think about it, it didn't really hurt me at all because Farfas were in the grave. I didn't have any monsters. And then I play one copy of the Seal of War Calcos. This is only here for shenanigans. Also, it has the attack of all your monsters 500 points, but this card is the reason why I don't use an extra deck. Then I play two copies of Valkyrie's Embrace. You switch the, one of your Valkyrie monsters from attack to defense mode, and you target one of your opponent's monsters, and that targeted monster is banished. And you cannot special monsters when you activate the card, except for Valkyrie monsters, and you can only get one Embrace for turn, which is why I play two. Then I play three copies of Soul Charge. I only say Soul Charge because this is a Valkyrie Soul Charge where you bring pay a thousand life points per Valkyrie monster you bring back with a different name, but then your opponent can bring back one monster from their graveyard, two thousand less attack points. And usually that won't matter because you want to attack over their stuff anyway, or or you can just have Pegasus Wing and just attack over their stuff anyway. And to fin finish off the spells, they play three Ride of the Valkyries. And three Mischief of the Time Goddess. Variety of the Valkyries lets you summon as many different named Valkyries from your hand as you want. And, but during the end phase of that turn, I basically say that turn because this card, you shuffle all monsters you control it back into the deck. And, but, that's pretty much all that does. The Mischief of the Time Goddess. Basically, at the end of the battle phase, you activate it. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to its activation. But you basically skip until the, until the battle phase of your next turn. So if you activate Mischief, then activate... Or if you activate Rise of the Valkyries and activate Mischief, you won't have to shuffle your monsters back in at the end of the next turn. And that is it for my Valkyrie deck. If, any, if you can think of anything I could do to possibly improve the deck... Besides adding pot of extravagance, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.